come out with a smaller version that does everything. It's a laser system that is so brilliant. No mats, no knives, no nothing like that. If it could be tabletop and more affordable, I personally would be all in. I was trying to figure out how to shove that giant Glowforge into my space at home and I couldn't afford it and I didn't have the space. Tonight we are launching to the world, the TV launch, the brand new Aura Glowforge and it's coming up and we've got FlexPay and wait to see what it can do. If you've never seen Glowforge, I guarantee you it will blow your mind. Like it's super exciting. And by the way, we've already sold like 20 of them uh, earlier when I I posted it. So let's jump into this next item. So the last time I did this on our big last crafting show, um, Miss Sarah was with me. Every single thing Sarah showed us in that show, it completely sold out. And welcome back, my <laughs> love. Hello. It's been a couple months. I know it has. Thank you for having me back. <laughs> All right, so let's go over this first kit. Oh, you're so gonna we have love two this. different choices, right? We yes. have the whimsical and we have the traditional. And this was one of the most asked for things <laughs> that my crafting cutie said. Could you get these little diamond dots? They're called a different, lots of different things. Yep. And you're back. Yay. Absolutely. So we've had a few shows throughout the day with lots of our different crystal art kits. So crystal art is the brand from Craft Buddy and it is following diamond painting. Mm -hmm. What you have with those diamond painting kits and you know you have bags and bags and bags of crystals left over. <laughs> What we've done is enabled you to use what is then effectively your freebies. You can stamp it, you can colour it, you can cut it out, you can decoupage it, you can embellish it, and then you can use those crystals. If you haven't yet seen crystal art or diamond painting, this is what it is. These are what you are going to be creating. You are embellishing all of your pieces, whether it be cards, whether it be your Christmas decorations. It could be beautiful um, matting and layering with all the dyes and the stamps that you have in your collections now, your favourite ink pads these stamps all work together and in this collection you are getting the beautiful elf you've got the um of course santa claus and you even have his sleigh you can see how beautiful they work on their own individually but i'm going to take you through every single stamp set as well not only do you have the stamps but you also have the sentiments as well so you've got santa ho 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 have a jolly christmas and then of course the sign look at how you can then embellish these now you are getting crystals included in the kit you've got the trays you've got pens for your leftovers here are all of your sleighs let it snow you've even got the snow boot there the snow the sleigh when it's embellished it's going to look like this but you could have it pink if you wanted That's you great. could have it blue right because you can personalize it now you can even then stamp these onto notebooks you could do it onto laptop cases phone cases if you <laughs> want anything to be functional you could make these as little key rings or charms if you want it to be functional add that crystal art sealer into the basket from the website okay. because what the magic glue does and i'll show you is replicates the surface for crystal art and i'll Wait, take you through do the me others a favor first. yeah that do you want to see these called the Whimsical. whimsical. I just want to show traditional real quick uh, because I, I know a lot of you want to decide before they sell out. You're going <laughs> to love this one. Um, your traditional. As the name would suggest, you've got the poinsettias, the holly leaves, the berries. Look at these. Imagine just adding these to very simple techniques. But then, of course, by adding in the sparkle, you've got the tree in there as well. Did you see how the elf and Santa were um, the right size for the tree? Oh, perfect. So both of them are going to work together That's as great. well. So as we look through the other samples, you've got the baubles, beautiful for matting and layering oh, the and then of course are great. aren't they fabulous yeah. and that can then match any color scheme of your card again you've got the crystals included your tools your trays and then you are making so if i've never done this before i'm oh, still okay here complete starter okay, good. kit <laughs> exactly complete starter kit look at what you can wow. be doing and this is so simple this is mats and layers and then of course using those beautiful cards if you're already into your card making make them more difficult you can use some of your really fancy techniques with it too but what you're doing is being put completely in charge of crystal art, which we've never had before. You will have leftover crystals too, but we'll add them in. <laughs> Things like the tassels for them. You've got your trees. You can make your own wreaths. Get oh, clever look with at this your wreath, masking. you guys. Isn't that fabulous? <gasps> oh my gosh. And that is one, well, I say that's one stamp. That's your poinsettia and your holly leaf from one of your three within the collection. Wow. You can have so much fun with them, not only from the colors and the crystals that are included. You've got your glue, everything you need, 
and I'm telling you, this will get you addicted to crystal art and you're just gonna want more. You totally do, that's one thing, <laughs> is once you start doing this, a little heads of warning, we almost need like a support group because it's <laughs> we so- We have one of those on oh, Facebook do you? too, okay, yeah. Good. It's so wildly addicting and you. it's very relaxing, believe it or not. <laughs> All right, so let's show them if they don't have any idea how it works, what okay. do you do? So what you're gonna do is ink up your stamp, stamp it onto, obviously just using the mediums that you are you want to work with. So if you're gonna use alcohol inks, if you're going to paint with it, you can even stamp onto glass. Get those right mediums. If you need any help, head over to us on Facebook and we'll take you through the tutorials. Okay. You can then cut this out. That's what I've done with the tree here. And I've also then taken the other pieces from the tree set, which include things like, if I show you, you've got your um, candy, candy canes. Cane. You've got the stars. You've got anything that you could add in. You can add baubles as well. So once you're doing that, you can even mat and layer it up. Give yourself something fancy. The magic glue is just going to go straight onto it. Now it comes out white. Take a paintbrush and add that on. Now the film that I have over this, I believe we also have on the website. Okay. Here's the difference between magic glue and our crystal art sealer. Sealer does what it says. It will seal your crystals. So if you want anything functional, handbag, charms, notebooks, uh, covers for your phones, things like that, you want to be able to seal it so you don't lose your crystals. What magic glue does, once that dries, it will go from white to completely clear. And this then gives you and replicates, and I'm gonna squash that down just because I don't have time to wait for it. This will replicate mm. any surface of diamond painting and crystal art. Perfect. This, as the name suggests, is magic because it's never going to dry. This will permanently stay sticky. That then means whether you are making these and you're stamping them out, maybe you're stamping them for one evening and that's nice and relaxing enough. Maybe on another evening, you're going to sit and actually embellish them. Whether you came back to this six months later, it's still going to be sticky. sticky. That's great. That's why if you want a permanent feature, uh, where is my pen? That's why if you want a permanent feature, you're going to have to seal them on. Gotcha. So, Peeling back that protective layer on the gel. Now, if you haven't seen this today yet, you're gonna cut out an entire section. I've now shown you how to prep all of your tools for anything from Craft Buddy Crystal Art. Okay. We're gonna pour these crystals into the tray, give it a little wiggle. They'll sit flat side down, faceted side up. And that permanently sticky glue, we're just gonna take and anywhere I see those little dots, it gives me the perfect template and perfect outline. Mm -hmm. That's now how every single item within Crystal Art from Craft Buddy is made. Isn't that awesome, you, you guys? You can get creative, <laughs> you can then have fun, and how you then use them, I'll take you through a few of the samples again, That's but great. you can see that glue is staying on there. Don't push it down too hard, cover it over. You can come back to that whenever you next get time to craft it. Isn't that awesome, you guys? And I'm telling you, it's one of the most relaxing things you'll ever do, which is really good for me. All right, here we go. It's a brand new set. You have the traditional whimsical. I believe the whimsical is the most limited at this point. Ooh. Okay, there's 600 left, and that had the Santa, the elf, and the sleigh in the whimsical. And then the traditional is the other option for you as well. All right, unfortunately, we've got to keep rolling on. I do want to mention the sticker sheets, and we're going to look very quickly at a couple more items, because I, I asked Sarah, I said, 